My name is Yeni Verlich. I'm an assistant professor of computer science at Columbia University and also a co-member at the New York Genome Center. I describe myself as a digital era geneticist. I try to fuse between computer science and vast amount of, of information in between um, analyzing traits and understanding the genetics of um, different types of conditions. Our study showed that you can get a very highly efficient and robust DNA storage mechanism. So it's a storage mechanism that it's reliable the same way that your hard drive in a way is reliable. We take storage as almost as granted and we accumulate a lot of information in our daily life. But if you look at the amount of information that we accumulate over time versus the amount of technological progress in the storage, um, storage devices, you see that actually we accumulate more than our ability to miniaturize this type of devices. So DNA has several advantages to store information. The first thing is that it's very compact. It, in fact, it's about one million times more compact than what you can get when you use a regular digital media. The second advantage is that DNA can last for a very long amount of time. If you look at regular media like CDs and DVDs, you know, I have some, some nice collection from the 90s. And if now I try to, again, hear Nirvana Nevermind, my favorite uh, CD um, 20 years ago, it's probably scratched and I cannot really listen to that. But DNA can, we can maintain DNA molecules for an extended amount of time. We can still retrieve DNA from skeletons that are thousands of years old and get the DNA. So it has this robustness that you don't get in regular types of media. Another advantage of DNA is that it's, it will never be obsolete, right? So if now you show to my kids a regular you know, cassette, tape record, tape cassette, they will look at that and will never understand what they need to do with this thing, right? So all these nice cassettes that I have from, from I don't know, 80s or 90s, I cannot listen to them anymore. And the last advantage of DNA storage is that it is in, in a liquid state. So all other types of media are solid. You cannot, it's very hard to bend them or there is some physical limitations to them. But DNA, you can store in a liquid and it can take any shape and any type. So kind of like you go from two dimensional to kind of like three dimensional very naturally. So this is a two terabyte hard drive that you have. It, it weighs, you know, it's like, I would estimate it as half kilogram, this hard drive. So you can see that information takes a physical space it's not something that is just abstract, but it actually we put it somewhere in the physical world. So this is a two terabyte of a hard drive, and it weighs a few hundred grams. But using a, a DNA storage, we show that we can get presumably to 215 petabyte of information on one gram of, of DNA. So take this hard drive, now multiply this hard drive by 100,000. So I don't know, this will be like a huge room full of these hard drives, maybe more than one room like that. And it's as if we took this entire room and just put it on you know, one drop of water that you can carry with you anywhere that you go. So kind of like in a way, we want to enable all this hoarding of information for, for people.